Good afternoon, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. This is David here with TechFront.net. Sorry it's been a little while since I've popped out a video. We've had some family issues to deal with and some weather issues to deal with and glad to be back. Um, today we're going to talk about the UDM Pro SE. And now let me back up and explain that a little bit. The UDM Pro is a ubiquity product. It's the Dream Machine Pro SE. Unified Dream Machine Pro SE. Now, that's generally coming from a product line that I don't do a whole lot of coverage on here, but we have a complete ubiquity WISP here in our little small community. And I have made several unified deployments and assisted in several unified deployments over the years and I wanted to talk about this product because for those interested this is really something new something I consider innovative and I know there's some Unify folks out there that are Unify enemies if you will you don't like it I understand there are some reasons not to like it and we're going to talk about those in a minute but what the Unified Dream Machine Pro SE is, we don't have one here yet to review. We have one on order. They're not available for public order yet. If you have been around the Unified line, we had what was called the USG and the USG Pro. Those were your basic firewall options. Those become dated products mainly because they wouldn't support a gigabit of traffic with the protections running and the filtering running and the IDP and all that good stuff. They just it just wouldn't support it. It didn't have the CPU, didn't have the power. And with packet inspection you, you run into all kinds of issues there. Basically if you had a gigabit internet connection, five, six hundred megs, maybe seven hundred megs would be about all you would ever see out of the USGs if you were lucky and you had no other services other than packet inspection and intrusion prevention running on the box. Now if you had other things running you ran into issues. Then we had the product called the Dream Machine, plain Dream Machine, which was kind of meant more for the enthusiast maybe the home user that was a circular box with a four port basic switch on the back and the Unify controller was built inside the unit. Now, let's keep in mind that the Unify units and are really not meant for consumer use. These are not plug and play devices in most cases. Now, you know, you can argue that the regular Dream Machine, the cylinder unit, could be a plug and play device, but most people in our consumer market, you know, for your basic family, aren't buying these devices. They're more meant for the enthusiasts and for small business. Well, when the Unified Dream Machine Pro came out, it's a rack mount box with a switch. It has the ability to have an external hard drive and you could basically run Unify on that box. Now, Unify is a graphical interface that you can use to manage your network change settings it gives you a visual representation of everything unify your router your firewall your access points your cameras your entry system all if you're using unified devices now with that said that's where some people don't like unify you don't install the way you would a consumer device. You plug it in, you log in, you configure that one device and the rest of your network goes untouched. Unify is a single pane of glass style of setup that you manage everything in that device and when you upgrade firmware, everything gets pushed out to that device or you upgrade settings, you know, your settings get pushed out to that device. So one change to Unify can or cannot break, you know, other things on your network. And Ubiquity, although they've gotten better in years past, has been known to give us buggy software. 
We know that. So what is the Dream Machine Pro SE? To me, it's what the first Dream Machine Pro should have been. The Dream Machine Pro SE has PLE ports on the Switch. Thank you. Ubiquity, with most of your products supporting or needing PoE to function, such as your access points and now your talk system with your phones, this is a no-brainer. We should have had PoE on the first Dream Machine. We also have 128 gig SSD, which is kind of interesting. That's enough to get you started with other features on the on the box such as the unified talk that has recently been discussed um it'll run a few of the unified cameras i wouldn't run say more than one or two or you're going to want more storage which the unified dream machine pro se does support it supports a hard drive in the front there on a slide out bay i don't know the limit of space on that hard drive i have heard of people using 10 and 12 gigs. Your mileage may vary. You can buy one of these units with a hard drive installed. Now, rumor is MSRP on these units is about $499. To me, that's worth it with everything you get. You're also getting a 2.5 gigabit ethernet port for your WAN port, so that's upgraded from the standard one gig. That's good to see. You're also getting, you know, I did mention the 128 gig SSD. I did mention that. And the PoE, like I said, that's the big deal. For some people, this makes the perfect box. I have to admit for the deployments that I do and the work that I do, I agree, perfect box, perfect box. The, a lot of people have to buy an extra switch just to support a PoE device, a phone, an access point that is no longer needed. So, with that said, I know we don't have one here yet. I wanted to give you a brief rundown of what the UDM Pro SE is about again to highlight PoE ports, 128 gig SSD, 2.5 gigabit WAN port. The software is getting better for Unify, and some of you will debate that. From what I've seen, it's getting better. I'd like to know what you think. Are you in the market for the UDM Pro SE? Are you debating buying the UDM Pro, or are you selling your UDM Pro? Drop me a link down there. We've got a UDM Pro here, not the SE. We'll be taking a look at the SE, and we'll be sure to get you a video. Drop me a link if you like it. Drop me, a, or drop me a like if you like it. Drop me a dislike if you hate it. Like, subscribe. We appreciate you. Take care, everybody, and we'll be sure to get you some videos when the SE becomes available. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.